Russia-Ukraine conflict Russia has amassed an estimated 100,000 troops along its border with Ukraine over the past several months. Ukraine government has also opposed the Russian invasion by putting 70,000 troops to its border. But why Russia is building up military presence along Ukraine border? In this video I am going to share all the latest updates point by point on this issue. Keep an eye on this video till the end to get more clear pictures. History The Soviet Union was a socialist state that was created by Vladimir Lenin in 1922. During its existence, the USSR was the largest country in the world. The USSR collapsed in 1991 and left in its place 15 independent states. Ukraine is one of those 15 countries to get freedom from the Soviet Union in 1991. Its a new constitution was approved on June 28, 1996. Ukrainians' relationship with Russia Ukraine gained their independence 30 years ago, after the fall of the Soviet Union. Tensions between Russia and Ukraine reached an all-time high in February 2014, when violent protesters ousted Ukraine's pro-Russian president, Viktor Yanukovych, in the so-called Revolution of Dignity. Around the same time, Russia forcibly annexed Crimea. Putin immediately moved to strike in the Donbas region of eastern Ukraine which lead to death about 14,000 people. What do Ukrainians want? Ukraine's government has said it will apply to join the European Union in 2024 and also has ambitions to join NATO. According to RBC Ukraine News, 81% Ukrainians showed negative attitude towards Putin while 15% only supported Russia government. Why Putin threatening to invade Ukraine? Putin views Ukraine as a territory under Russia's sphere of influence, rather than a sovereign state. The Kremlin has used this sense of ownership to try to prevent Ukraine from joining the EU and NATO. Due to Ukraine's geographical closeness to the members of the NATO, Russia has always been apprehensive of it joining the Western alliance. Now, if Ukraine joins NATO, it would bring the Western alliance, led by the US, right to Russia's borders, which is something Russia doesn't want. Russia has now placed forth a direct demand that Ukraine should not be allowed to join the NATO at any cost. Russia experienced one of its largest anti-government demonstrations in January 2021. Following the detention of political opposition leader Alexei Navalny in Russia, tens of thousands of Russians demonstrated in support of him. Ukraine's strategic position It is necessary to analyze the geographical position of Ukraine. Russian is spoken by a majority in Ukraine, the second largest country in terms of area in Europe, after Russia. Ukraine shares its eastern and northeastern borders with Russia. Belarus is to the north of Ukraine while Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary are to its west. In the south, it is bordered by Romania and Moldova. It also has a coastline along the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. So the western part of Ukraine is totally covered by US-led NATO countries. Why US want to get involved? With its annexation of Crimea and support for the Donbas conflict, Russia has violated the Budapest Memorandum Security Assurances for Ukraine, a 1994 agreement between the US, United Kingdom and Russia that aims to protect Ukraine's sovereignty in exchange for its commitment to give up its nuclear arsenal. Putin's threats against Ukraine come as Russian military move into Belarus raising worries about the Kremlin's plans to invade other countries in the region. Russia's demand Russia demanded that NATO abandon all its military activity from Eastern Europe. Russia has made it clear that NATO must never admit Ukraine as a member. Russia also demands that the US and other NATO members would have to pull out their forces and stop the supply of arms to nations like Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Slovakia, Hungary and Lithuania. It is up to Ukraine and 30 NATO allies to decide when Ukraine is ready to join the alliance. Russia has no veto, no right to interfere in that process. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg World with Ukraine They will pay a stiff price, immediately, short-term, medium-term and long-term if they do it. 
U.S. President, Joe Biden. If Russian President Putin chose bloodshed and destruction in Ukraine, it would be a tragedy for Europe. UK President Boris Johnson. Any violation of territorial integrity will have its price, a high price, and we will speak with one voice on this together with our European partners and our transatlantic allies. German Chancellor, Olaf Scholz. What India should do. India and United States enjoy a comprehensive, global, strategic partnership, while with Russia, India shares a special and privileged strategic partnership. Both Russia and the US are extremely valuable and vital partners of India. It would not be prudent for India to take sides on this issue. India should continue to adopt a balanced, neutral approach as it has done so far. If you guys think this video is informative, then like this video comment on the comment section, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.